Okay, here we are back for part two. Uh, what I need to do now, as mentioned in part one, is duplicate all of these uh, buttons so that I get all ten that I need to be able to type any number I can dream of. Um, so uh, I'm just going to do another one just to kind of remind you where we're at. Uh, duplicate. Put that where I kind of want it to go. And change the value of this number to 3. And then also change the costume. Um, one other thing I'm going to do as I go through these is get rid of this other costume here that's not needed. Uh, now when I duplicate this one, yeah, that costume's gone, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I'm going to do the rest of these really quickly, and I'll probably speed this up on the video. I'm just laying these out right now because I think it'll be faster this way in the end. Last number. This one gets called number zero. Don't forget that. And make sure that all of them have the right number. Okay, I think we're all set, so let's take a quick look and see if this allows us to type properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Plus two should just change that last digit there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're ready to continue on. Okay, now I was thinking about this last night, and I realized that there's a critical flaw in the way I'm programming this. But rather than try to explain that and fix it now, I'm going to just carry on, and we'll worry about it when we get to it, and fix that in the next part. Um, so what I want to do is I want to start working on some other functions here. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this addition button, and I'm going to name that subtract. And we're going to try to add another method that we can use with our numbers here. So I need to change the costume so that I can distinguish between the two visually. And just kind of make sure it can be seen fairly easily. Okay, now in the scripts, all I should have to do is change this memory plus display uh, so that instead it uses memory minus display. So now it will subtract whatever I had just entered from whatever I had entered previously. Um, so Nothing left to do but try it out. Here we go. Let's start with 10 minus, and there you see it. That's the problem. Because our script, let's go back and take a look. Because our script runs from whatever's in the memory, then when it comes to this problem here, it's subtracting zero, because that's what we start with. 
Um, so I'm sorry, it's subtracting from zero. So we actually wind up with zero minus whatever we typed in, and that's really not what we want. Um, so one way we can fix this is by kind of changing how all of these functions work. Um, but I'm going to actually modify our memory variable so that when we first start, it actually equals n slash a, which a lot of times stands for not applicable. So now I can go back to my subtraction button and I can say um, I only want to perform this function if something else is true. So I want an if else here. Okay, so I want to say if not, so I'm saying if memory Okay, so what I've done here is I've used a standard equals operator to say memory equals n slash a. But then I put that inside of a not operator. So that means if that's not true, then it will do this. So in other words, it won't subtract from zero when we first start. But if we've got zero in memory because of other operations we've done, we do want to subtract from zero. Um, so, all I need to do then is come up with another function here that will just set memory to what's in the display. So that if we've just started, whenever we hit the subtract button, it will just move what we typed in up to here. and then we will continue on setting the display equal to the memory. And because we've already set our should reset, um, everything should work now. So let's take a quick look. Green flag, we're gonna do 10 minus five. And I'm just gonna hit the plus button, uh, even though I think then that's gonna add five. But let's see. And it did. So I'm going to have to hit the minus button again. So let's clear that out. 10 minus five is five. Okay, so we're still going to run into a little bit of trouble with this not feeling very familiar. Um, but we can fix that again. We can fix that later. Um, so right now I'm going to add an equals button, and the equals button uh, will come in handy later. Actually, let, let's just do that later. Uh, for right now, let's move on and do a duplicate of subtraction and call it multiply. In the costumes, we will change that to... Let's use an X instead of an asterisk. More people are familiar with that. Okay, so we put that up here. A little smaller. There we go. Now in our scripts, same thing is true. We still want to not multiply by zero if it's the first time we've done it. So we need a new operator for our multiplication. Put in our memory, in our display. And so now this says memory times display. So if we give that a try, 5 times 5 should give us 25. Perfect. Okay, next up, division. 
So let's go back, duplicate our multiplication, call this divide, and see how quick this goes once you have the basics in place. Uh, so we need our division operator. Now, one question is, how do we want to divide? Do we want to divide what's in the memory over what's in the display? And the answer is yes, because when we actually type it out, we will do 5 divided by uh, 5, which would give us 1. So uh, let's change the costume of this. And I'm going to use a slash because I don't have an easy way to do division symbol. Maybe we'll fix that later to something more familiar. Okay, so this should be pretty simple now. That should work. Let's try 10 divided by 2. Gives us 5. That's the correct answer. Okay. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Okay, um, that's a pretty good place to cut this video off. Uh, that's about 10 minutes, a little bit shorter than the last one, but uh, maybe this will give you a chance to play around with those, fix them up a little bit and uh, see if you can figure out how we're going to fix the next problem, or even if you can um, identify what our next issue is going to be. Um, I'll see you right back here for part three.